We've all got unique situations, but every answer applies to everybody here. There are lots of different ways that we can sell B2B and package up what we sell to corporates. One way is you're going to say, I charge per head for my training. So whoever comes along, yes, whether it's the corporate client that's paying, someone's boss that's paying, whether it's the individual that's paying, you've got a price per head. That's one way to sell. And in this case, Brian's saying he charges 200 bucks per head for them to come into his academy. Cool. The other way that you can package up your training to businesses, to corporates, to your contracted partners is you could say it's either 200 bucks per head or it's going to be x bucks for 10 people and so you might do a little bit of a discount you might make it 150 dollars a head if they buy 10 places and the way i set this up in techmatics is you just go to offers and i think i've even got an example of this to show you what i mean you go into offers and i call it a bulk user license inside you go to your products courses go to offers, create offer. Normally it's $200 a head per person. However, we're also gonna have a bulk license deal for 10 places. And instead of, and it's gonna be that particular course, right? And it's gonna be a one-time payment. And instead of $200 a head, which would be two grand, it's gonna be 1,500, simple as that. Press create. And what you would do behind the scenes with this particular offer is if somebody bought this particular offer, you now need to have a workflow that is triggered by somebody purchasing this offer, then send an internal notification to self. Hey self, client X, because obviously you have their name from the, from the checkout, has purchased 10 places. Please reach out to them to get the names of the students that need to be enrolled. And you can either, whether you're manually enrolling them, whether you're sending them a form through Techmatics, whatever you might want to do. But that's one way. You obviously then can do exactly the same thing multiple times. I do one for 50 places. And obviously it's going to be a little bit cheaper per head again. I'll do another one for 100 places. And again, it would be a little bit cheaper per head incentivizing that client that partner that customer to send more students now please make sure in your terms and conditions or in your contract agreement you have said something along the lines of this is only valid for 12 months because <laughs> what you don't want is customers saving this up for years and years and then you're obligated to put on a program that you might not even be running anymore <laughs> in 10 years time so i always say base everything on a 12 month basis business to business because their budgets renew every 12 months so i always say these places must be used in 12 months use it or lose it it's in the contract agreement with these corporates but here's another one i do this one is my favorite this is basically like creating a subscription for a business, for a corporate. I do unlimited users license. And for that, I basically say to the client, you've got option one, pay me $200 per head. Option two, buy 10 licenses, it's only $150 a head. Option three, buy 100 licenses, it comes down to only 100 bucks per head. Or the next option is I'm going to let you send unlimited users, students through this program, and it's going to simply be a monthly fee. So it's going to be a recurring subscription of, and you might make it $1,000 a month, for instance, for $1,000 AUD per month, number of payments, no, it won't be number of payments, it's just going to be recurring, so you leave it blank, and I can't press save because my thing's in the way, save. So now, in the proposal I send out to this client, they will have those four options and they'll be able to really clearly compare. It's easier for us to send one at a time for $200 or actually, yet yeah, the $50 license is going to be really good for us. Now we're only paying $100 per head or actually we've got 3,000 staff or contractors that are going to be coming on. Each of our contractors is 5,000 staff. So we're going to be better off paying this guy a grand a month for the unlimited user license. Boom. You've now got yourself a subscription. They might even send a handful of people in per month, but it's, again, it's a subscription, your bottom line's being covered. It's a really powerful way for you to offer a business or a corporate or a contractor a number of different options to access your training, your coaching, or your consulting. As when it comes to scale, one of the great problems that you'll ever have to ask yourself is how do I manage, manage all of these people? <laughs> and the beautiful thing is contract by contract, particularly if you have a contract like this where you know that a client's going to be starting to send you lots of students. Um, and by the way, guys, this can happen overnight. When I first started in the online space, I, I don't know if any of you have heard of Gyms, the, it's like a big franchise. 
and they have Jim's pools and they have Jim's electricity and Jim's tag and test and Jim's mowing and gardening. I literally was teaching business tips on social media. That's it. And Jim's franchises contacted me and said, we want you to provide the business training for every single one of our franchisees in Australia. I am talking thousands. I had to go from having a handful of students on Udemy to having thousands of students coming through the system. And so I knew as part of that contract, I had to factor in bringing on a virtual assistant. And Febby was part of managing that, was going, okay, I know I'm gonna need to, luckily everything's automated, right? You send them their registration and confirmation information, automated. You make a form for the franchisee or the students to fill in, so that triggers their access for free. But really you only need that administrator perhaps an hour a day tops to just answer those questions like I've lost my login, I can't access it, I've forgotten my password. Again, that's all automated, but you are going to have the few people that are just struggling to get in. And that can usually be done even at a number that we have in our system, thousands of people. That's those sort of emails, I'm pretty sure it takes Febby no more than about 15 minutes a day to manage those kinds of inquiries. It's not as big as you think in terms of administration if it's a membership program. If you're on Zoom, it doesn't matter whether you've got a thousand people there or 10 people there. It's exactly the same amount of work on your part in terms of reminding people of the call. The only thing you need to factor in is that your Zoom subscription cost will increase because you'll need to have the license for more than 300 users in your account when you're live.